Hey everyone, welcome to chapter 15. We've made it to integration. And in, the, in these two sections, I'm gonna combine 15.1 and 15.2 together. Uh, in this video, I'm just gonna talk about the really, just the nitty basics of integrating uh, double integrals. And in the next video, I'll talk about uh, switching the limits on double integrals and when you can freely switch them and when uh, some problems uh, occur when just switching the limits on integrals. So let's consider then uh, just double integrals. And these examples are mostly from Godzilla. I think I've made one of these up myself. Uh, so let's say I got this double integral of four minus y squared dy dx. All right, so again, no theory. It's the plug and chug series. So I'm just gonna tell you guys how to evaluate these integrals. Um, but dy just means I'm evaluating this integral with respect to y first, okay? And so what happens? Well, then I get four, right? So the integral of four with respect to y is four y, okay? And the integral of y, negative y squared with respect to y is going to be negative y cubed over three, makes sense. And now I've got to evaluate this guy from zero to two first, right? And then after I evaluate that, then I have one more integral to go um, with respect to dx, okay? So essentially I took the first guy and integrated it with respect to y. What is this? Well, now this becomes the integral from zero to three. The inside becomes, uh, it becomes eight minus eight thirds, okay? So eight minus eight thirds dx, sure. Um, this thing is also uh, then 16 thirds dx, right? And then finally, I got to integrate 16 thirds with respect to dx. And what do I get? I get 16 over 3x evaluated from 0 to 3. And finally, that just becomes the answer 16. Okay? Cool. I mean, really nothing, nothing to say there. Um, so that's just how you evaluate a double integral. And what else? Well, when you evaluate double integrals, you might have to do some substitution tricks or even integrate by parts. And when, when that happens, uh, you just have to be really careful um, keeping in mind uh, where your integrals are. So for example, let's take a look at this next problem. Um, and I'm gonna try to stay away from integration by parts for as long as I can, and it's not gonna show up here. So thank God. Uh, all right, I got uh, let's see, what do I want to do? Let's, let's do dx dy, why, why not? So I got this double integral from zero to one and zero to two. Uh, so that means I got to switch these guys. Notice that switch, that switch that I just did. I'm going to talk about that later in the next video, but I could, I can just switch those guys, um, for now. And, it, and, and, and the quick reasoning is because these guys are all constants. So I can just switch the order of integration um, at will. Okay. But anyways, back to this problem, ignore the switch. We'll talk about that later. Um, so dx dy, uh, so I got to integrate this guy with respect to X first and it looks a little tough, right? Well, it looks like I need to make some kind of, looks like I need to make some kind of change of variables. So yeah, I do. I need to make a U sub. So I need a U equal X squared. And then DU is going to be uh, 2x dx, right? So again, this should be this should be high school stuff. I especially if you're taking 114 in the fall. Uh, so what do I get? Now I get uh, so I need to introduce a two on the inside, and then I need to introduce a one half on the outside. Okay, so now I get y times e to the u du dy, right? Since 2x dx becomes du, and then this x squared uh, becomes u, all right? So, all right, and yeah, so now there's another integral in here, and what does this integral become? Well, u is equal to x squared, right? So uh, this is zero squared, since I gotta plug in zero into, u, uh, into this formula right here. Uh, that becomes zero squared, and then this becomes one squared. So actually, it's nice because I my bounds don't really change. Um, I'm still left with this. Okay, 
And now if I integrate with respect to u, I get 0 to 2. Uh, this stays y e to the u evaluated from 0 to 1 because the integral of e to the u is still, right, it's y times e to the u um, integral from 0 to 1 because the integral of e to the u is just e to the u, right? And the y is going to be a constant with respect to u, right? So um, you just treat it as like a constant multiplying it out in front. And so that's what we do. And so now this becomes 0 to 2 y times e to the 1 minus e to the 0. Be careful, e to the 0 is not 0. That's a common mistake that we make. Um, this becomes e minus 1, all right? And now what, what, what do we do now? Well, uh, now I've got to integrate y, right? So now I've got to integrate y from 0 to 2. So this is equal to y squared over 2. And now I can, I can actually pull e to the 1 out in front, e minus 1 out in front. So it's e minus 1 times the integral from 0 to 2 y dy. Uh, you guys can do that integral. Um, but it equals e minus 1 times 1. So this final integral is going to be e minus 1. Okay, So that's now a double integral with a u sub. Very basic stuff um, for double integrals. Just for you guys to see what goes on. In the next video, we're going to do some limit. We're going to do some uh, boundary switching, which becomes very, very, very important. And uh, so that, that video is going to be much more important than this one. This is just an intro to uh, what's going to be most of your life now <laughs> for the rest of the semester. There's a lot of integrals going on. And I'll see you guys in the next video.